Hey guys, welcome to Moose's Machinery. Today's video is really going to be a pretty simple, straightforward video. This is a really a milling machine skill builders video. I think, you know, I, I've had a bunch of comments about how people are a little bit intimidated with the learning process. So this video, we're just going to cover two things, which is putting a part in the vise and seating it square on the parallels and then using what's called a Sterrett Wiggler center finder to find center of this center punch mark. We said center a lot in this. Uh, this is the tool we're going to be using. This is a Wiggler, uh, just a point tool. Now it's not gonna be a, per this is not the most precise way of finding center. Now I did hit this a little bit too hard um, instead of using an 8 or 12 ounce hammer like this, I used a 3 pound drilling hammer. So, I smacked her pretty good. Uh, now, this technique is the more precise, the smaller your center punch mark is. But, first things first, we're going to get the part seated square in the vise. Now, to seat it square, cleanliness is godliness. In this case, it's really common for you to get um, chips on the fixed jaw or the moving jaw of the vise. That's a very easy to, mistake to make. Now, I'm just doing this for the sake of the video, so I'm not throwing parallels in and taking them out. I just want to know about where I need to be. But again, cleanliness is godliness. Um, I like to clear parts with my fingers just so I can feel for sure that everything's clean. And just triple check that your parallels are clean as well. You know, that's a really easy mistake to make. But I like to kind of snug the vise a little bit. Whap, whap, whap. So the one, two, three. And see, we picked up a little in the rear. So we're floating. This, this piece is not really fully square. And what can happen if you hit too hard is the part will actually bounce. So now we're seated firmly on both parallels. And there we are, the parts in the vise. Now, this is again, this is a rusty, deformed piece of material. It's not machined. Therefore, it's never going to be perfect, but we can get it better. Uh, there's no such thing as perfect. There's just such a thing as close enough. Now, the Wiggler is nice because I use a lot of 3 8 inch end mills and it can, will fit perfectly in a 3 8 inch collet. Um, it really depends what I'm doing. If I'm drilling, I tend to use my Sterrett as an edge finder. Uh, I have a Mikitoyo, which is a dip, um, just a brand, but it's a different style of edge finder. This kind of cylinder type. I find these to be a little bit more accurate, but you know, at the same time, the Sterrett is plenty accurate. I also like to use it on video because it's just easier for you to see. Now, our last thing to do is I'm going to drop the speed on this. The head makes less noise running at lower RPM. Uh, I think someone mathematically has proven or discussed, and it's one of the things I see on a lot of the machinist forums, that... Your edge finders do their best work at around 1,000 RPM. Now, I don't know that for sure, but we're going to run this one at the 660 RPM step on my step pulley because it's going to be accurate enough. Um, and I mean, for those of you that are interested, another video we could probably cover is um, discussions on DFDs and their advantages and disadvantages. Uh, I really enjoy VFDs. They have a lot of utility for a shop like mine, but they also have a lot of disadvantages. So we're just gonna start the machine and really basically, once this guy's running true, I, I kind of just stick it down into the point, the very bottom of the center punch and see if it deflects. Now you can also do this um, without the machine running, but it is a little bit easier with the machine running.
So, I mean, really, that's all there is to it to line up on a punch mark is just, frankly, eyeball it. Um, this is effectively a very fancy eyeball. You can do this with a drill bit, but you don't strictly need to. Now, these are nice tools. There's other methods. Uh, on the drill, the drill press, you, you can kind of just let the vise float around and the, the drill bit will center itself. Um, but I just thought this was a really basic introduction to one technique that isn't an edge finder, it's a center finder. And we don't need to use a digital readout for this. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna record right after this, but release later is just in the same setup and technique, we're going to drill and ream a hole and I'll discuss uh, drilling and reaming because that's another thing you'll do a lot of as a hobbyist is drilling holes. Um, it's, there's a little more technique to it. You really have to understand the limitations of the machine you're using, how big a hole can you drill and should you drill a pilot hole? So that's all fun stuff we can get into and that'll just be the next video.